Will Starfield have an armor and equipment conditioning system? Let's explore some evidence that supports that possibility and more. Alright, before we get started, I want to give credit to one of you for bringing this to my attention. Thanks to Joe Souza, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, for writing this awesome thesis and bringing to my attention the possibility of an armor and equipment conditioning system in Starfield. I feel like this flew under the radar of a lot of people and would definitely be a welcome addition to the game in my opinion as it certainly harkens back to the earlier days of Fallout and Elder Scrolls. From what I understand, it makes a lot of sense as they seem to be taking inspiration from Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Oblivion. Todd Howard has mentioned this several times when talking about dialogue and other RPG mechanics in Starfield. And it's nice with Starfield to go back to some things we didn't do, the backgrounds, the traits, the defining your character, all of those stats. Um, and I think there's so many games now that do those things that people are ready for something that, that does a lot of the things that, you know, older hardcore RPGs, some that we used to do, doing those again in, in a new way. So with respect to Bethesda's intention to take familiar or classic RPG systems from their older games and implement them into Starfield, is it possible they could be bringing back armor and equipment conditioning in Starfield? For those of you who maybe aren't familiar with this system or still aren't exactly sure how it works, let's take a look at the Fallout Wiki page to get a concrete definition. So in a few of Bethesda's earlier games, such as Fallout New Vegas, you had what's referred to as equipment degradation. What this means is all equipable items have item health, which helps determine how quickly the condition of an item degrades from use and from being hit in combat. At full health, an item is in 100% condition. Similarly, at close to zero item health, an item is about to break. This would also apply to armor, whereas the condition of the armor itself would degrade or become less effective if an incoming attack power exceeds the damage threshold of the armor. There would probably be several different ways to do this, but I'm using Fallout New Vegas for this particular model, assuming Starfield would have something comparable. So if you've ever played Fallout 3 or New Vegas, this is essentially why you would collect like 18 of the same guns or armors so you could use them to repair the one that was already in the best condition. Okay, with that out of the way, let's take a look at Joe's assessment here and see what he's found. Starting off with an astute observation here, the first and probably most obvious clue might be the helmet sitting on a shelf in the Constellation ship from the teaser trailer. This, however, could just simply be for world building and realism uh, Joe then noticed that the jetpack the player wears throughout the gameplay trailer seems to have several states of degradation and damage to it, such as scratched paint and markings. Although it could be a temporary damage effect that fades over time, it seems to be more persistent. At the beginning of the gameplay trailer, where the player lands on the moon known as Crete, there appears to be some light damage or wear and tear to the pack. Throughout the Crete segment of the gameplay trailer, the amount of damage to the pack does not change, except for this segment. This could indicate a temporary damage effect or the damage that was there beginning to fade. Maybe it displays damage when the character is hit, or is it tied directly to the condition of the jetpack itself? Does it look like it's faded because the resolution or lighting was poor in this segment? Regardless, one would think that this damage is static or just part of the general design of the jetpack in-game. On the contrary, there are a few instances in the gameplay trailer that actually show the same jetpack in a much cleaner and more pristine condition notably during the Outpost presentation. Was this meant to be a subtle hint that this was a place to repair equipment and inventory items? Also take note that the pack appears in clean condition right before a confrontation with the Crimson Fleet and again when the player character is engaging with a research or workstation. While not entirely conclusive, Joe believes the evidence found in the gameplay trailer and future gameplay footage will help us get one step closer to finding out for sure. Well, hey, thanks a lot, Joe. These are some great findings, and I appreciate you taking the time to bring this to my attention. Who knows? Maybe that new mysterious Starfield showcase that's coming soon will clear this up for us and give us a definitive answer to the question, does Starfield have an item and equipment condition system? So what do you guys think? Is there anything you found in the footage we've seen that would lead you to believe that this is the case? Or do you think it's a stretch? Let me know down in the comments below and let's start a dialogue about it. I love hearing what you guys have to say, and the more you comment, the more likely you are to be featured in a future video, especially if your comment raises awareness about something we maybe weren't clued in on before. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate every single last one of you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Starfield updates coming soon as we look forward to the future.